The Pocket NC Simulator can be found at sim.pocketnc.com. When you get to the website, you'll see a G code and summary pane. The G code pane lists the lines of G code that you've uploaded. The summary pane lists out any errors which you'll find at the top, as well as any lines of code that are unimplemented. These are indicated with caution signs. Saying things like a pause or adding coolant are not implemented within the simulator. Towards the bottom, you'll find information on how long the G-code program you uploaded is, how long it will take to run, and tool parameters such as the tool length offset, the diameter of the tool, and which tool holder you're using, either the short tool holder, the standard tool holder, or the extended or long tool holder. Here you'll find a playback control panel. To the right, you'll find a digital readout, which is similar to the readout that is in the software user interface when you're actually running the Pocket NC machine. Above the DRO, there are some options for various views. And then above the views are two upload buttons for G code and a model upload. So we'll go ahead and upload some G-code. So the example we'll choose is a spiral. The simulator will take .ngc or .nc files, but note that the pocket NC machine will only run .ngc files. You have the option of also uploading a model, and the files that you can upload are .stl or .obj files. So the first thing to do when you upload a G-code program is to go to the summary and look at the items that are not implemented, as well as if there's any errors. So here we look pretty good. We can change the default offset if we wish to by going to the playback control panel and pressing stop. And then changing the tool length offset. Press enter to store the value. Then to reload the program with the new values, press the run program button and it'll take a few moments to reload the program with those parameters. You may have noticed before, but there's a status circle to the left of the G-Code Upload button that shows you when the program has fully loaded. So again, make sure there's no errors and everything looks good. Our new value is stored. So we can go back to the G-Code pane and start the program. If we want to hide the G-Code pane, we can push this button and the program tracks the line of code that we're in. The playback control panel allows you to jog through lines of code either backwards or forwards. You can also change the speed with which you go through the program all the way up to a thousand. And you can also decrease the speed and go less than one. If you press the clock to the left of the scale, it will return to one. Currently, the only way to track through the program if you want to get further along is to move the slider along and play from there, and it'll move the line of code. As of yet, you can't select a line of code from the G-code pane and play from there. So to the right, we have our digital readout that's moving for the axes as they move. The model is selected. You can also turn that off to see the tool paths. And then we also have a view cube up here where you can change the view. You can also do change the view with your mouse by clicking and dragging, and the view cube will track where you're at with the mouse. With the mouse, you can also zoom in and out. The two other options for views 
are this target and camera symbol. So the target symbol will parent a, the camera view to an axis or the tool. So the default is Y. You also have options of A, B, and the tool. So A is not doing much here, so it doesn't change the view very much. B, however, is rotating. So your view will rotate with the B table. We can also parent to the tool. The other option is this camera. And the default is perspective, which means it's line of sight, like you would see with your eyes. L lines converge when they're far away. Orthographic keeps lines parallel. So if you're very interest, interested in keeping something straight, this would be a good perspective to take. So here, if we zoom in from the top, you can see a bit better the differences between the perspective and the orthographic. So we hope that this video, you've learned the functionality of the simulator and can start uploading some models in G-Code yourself to start looking for errors. In the next video, we'll go through some examples of errors that can crop up when you upload G-Code into the Pocket NC simulator.